As always, first segment brought to you by uh, the Harmony Foundation, uh, which you can find uh, more about at HarmonyFoundationInc.com. We'll tell you more about that in a second. So I'm, I'm watching the Broncos game last night, and at the end of the game, Peyton does an interview on the field with Michelle Tafoya of I didn't NBC. See that. And Peyton basically said, look, we're thrilled for the win, but we're still trying to find our identity as an offense. W what is that identity right now, and where do you and I think – that identity will end up being? How will it end up being described by the end of the year? I don't know. I guess we'll have to I wait and see. I no, I, I think they last night they brought out the pistol offense, which uh, uh, Adam Gase had installed pieces of it when he was here. Kubiak ran some of it on occasion in Houston. I think it made Peyton Manning a lot more comfortable than being under center. And the only time I saw him under center was when he kneeled down at the end of the game. And you could just tell he was a lot more comfortable. He could see the field. I could almost predict, I know this is going to sound strange, but I could almost predict, predict I could predict when they were going to pass and run. The Detroit was giving away a lot of stuff offensively and defensively. And on defense, they were, when they put one safety, one lone safety back there, you could see him going, I am going to go to Ramirez Thomas and see if he can beat his guy. That's what happened on both those plays with Emmanuel. Even though the Broncos couldn't run the football a lick, Detroit kept playing to stop the run. Yeah. I mean, this, this that's, seems to, that's a bad football team. This seems to me to be the right compromise. They don't want Peyton in the shotgun because it's hard to run the ball out of the shotgun. Peyton doesn't want to be under center because he's just not effective. He's not comfortable under center. So the pistol. So now he's lined up four or five yards behind center instead of seven yards with the shotgun or under center. He can see the field. He can still hand the ball off. The running back can still get a little bit of a charge before he takes the handoff. And the offensive line did a much, much better job protecting Peyton last night. They're still not blowing any holes well, open for the running game. Yeah, but, you know, but keep in mind, before you get too slicky there, yeah. that uh, Detroit lost three interior linemen from no, last I get that. year. I get that. So they, it's they still not, it's they not a, a bad pad. It's not a bad defense and certainly not on turf, but it's certainly not the defense and certainly not the run-stuffing defense it was last year. No doubt about it. First segment brought to you by the Harmony Foundation. You can find out more information at HarmonyFoundation.com. They are Colorado's premier treatment program for drug and alcohol addiction right outside of Estes Park, a beautiful 45-acre mountain campus, very peaceful, very serene. It's a place where you can get healthy again, and they are insurance-friendly. So visit HarmonyFoundationInc.com. When you go to buy a car, what do you really want? You probably want a lot of cars to choose from. And you want the dealership's best price. Not some starting price or target price. The best price. And you want it immediately, not after hours of negotiating. And you want a salesperson who doesn't get paid more if you spend more. Because, well, you don't want to spend more. Well, you're in luck. John Elway wants all of those things, too. Better yet, John Elway wants you to have all of those things, too. Come see us or click on johnelwaychevrolet.com.